To give you a completely new perspective on marriage, we're throwing a very special wedding at a chapel in Las Vegas. Dearly beloved, you may place the goggles. And thanks to these goggles, it's already an affair to remember. The goggles they're wearing shift their perspectives by 30 degrees to the right, making simple tasks like putting on a ring or feeding cake anything but. But keep watching, because they've been wearing their glasses for about 10 minutes, plenty of time for their brains to adjust. Now it's time for them to attempt another kiss. Now, that was an exquisite synchronized kiss. No errors, no mistaken perceptions. So you know why that was so perfect? Because they've actually adapted to wearing these goggles and this change in perspective, and now it's become their new normal. And it's not their eyes that adapted, it's their brains. Think about it. Just minutes ago, this couple was completely off the mark, and now they're right on target, despite wearing the goggles. Now, we might be having fun here, but we're actually doing this to make an important scientific point. Your brain will do whatever it takes to make sense of the world around you. What you're seeing happen in real time is what scientists call neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to adapt itself to give you the optimal experience of interacting with the physical world. Just as the brain of someone who has less than 100% vision may adapt to enhance other senses such as hearing, you're watching the brains of our bride and groom figure out how to compensate for a 30-degree shift in perspective. Crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can take off those silly little things. Now that the goggles are coming off, this couple should be in the clear, right? So, let's see how the groom does with a new challenge. All you gotta do is pour the champagne, okay? Go for it. Just aim for the middle. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. That's odd. His vision is thrown off, even though he's not wearing the goggles. So why is he having the same problem, but in reverse? What's going on here? The reason that he messed that up so badly is because, as I mentioned before, his brain has adapted to that new perspective with the goggles, which was 30 degrees to the right. That was his new normal. When we took the goggles off, now he was literally operating 30 degrees off. That's why that was such a mess. Isn't that insane? <laughs> Crazy. Sorry, everybody. As you can see, your brain places a huge priority on depth perception. There are few other functions that can rewire so quickly, almost in real time, because few things are as critical to survival as being able to interact properly with your physical environment.